hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel i'm going to be showing you the four strategies i use to get rid of my chicken skin in less than one month so this video was requested by my one of my subscribers i just had four strategies to combating it and in less than one month they were completely almost gone so i have been compiling and keeping this video for you guys so if you want to know what this four strategies are do keep on watching so guys the first strategy to get rid of chicken skin is the shaving strategy the first rule is do not use dull razors to 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 shave your legs because this is the best recipe for for chicken skin a very good way it doesn't mean the razor you use whether I use the expensive razors or just this regular one that I'm using right here all you need is some simple tips and tricks when you are done with your razor you want to store it in a in an upward direction not in the facing down direction that people would normally do because this causes rust and breeds bacteria and when you're about to use it the second time you just don't make the whole process good but when you store your razors whether expensive or cheap facing upwards it gives you the ability to drain there's no rust and the water just drain easily and another step i like to do is to get a favorite oil of yours maybe coconut oil or any oil and just use it to coat the blade it's going to prevent the rusting it's going to get rid of bacteria like you form a protective barrier from bacteria around your razor So the next step is the shaving, how you properly shave your legs. You want to start shaving after a hot shower. This will make all the hairs on your head, legs really soft and it will soften dead skin cells as well as any other thing. You do not want to shave your legs dry. Use a shaving cream. If you don't have access to a shaving cream, you can use hair conditioner. You heard me? Yep. Your hair conditioner. This is a hair conditioner I'm using here. I'm just applying it to my legs and I'm just going to be using it to coat everywhere around the legs. It's going to soften the hair, soften your skin and just let things move a lot easier. Now when shaving, you want to make sure you shave in one direction. Some people will say shaving downwards is the direction. Some people say shaving upwards is the direction. Particularly, I like to shave downwards. You could do whatever but if you are doing downwards or upward make sure you maintain that direction all through because when you are shaving upward and downward and sideways and all through the hairs of your legs are confused and as a result of all those frictions and movements it causes it traps those dead skin cells deep in the pores and oils and bacteria and all of that so you want to maintain one direction of shaving all through. I tried to go downward with this, but this, to be sincere with you, is an old razor and I wasn't getting it really good. So the upward motion makes this really easy, but technically I love to do downward directions normally. So just maintain one direction all through when you want to shave and you're going to get the very amazing close shave ever and it's going to with time correct strawberry skin chicken skin and pilaris no matter what you call it incorporate scrubbing your skin during shaving routines so that means after putting my conditioner i shave my skin and when i'm satisfied with shaving it i go in with a sugar scrub and i scrub everywhere on my legs i really take my time to scrub my legs this way is going to loosen all the dead skin cells and any other little hairs that might be hiding oils or whatever that must have been trapped into the skin this just liberates everything and soften everything it's going to soften your skin it's going to work on dark spots dark nails and everything and you're going to have the smoothest skin the smoothest softest skin ever your skin is basically going to be like butter so after taking my time to scrub i finally after taking my time to scrub, I finally go in with my razor and I do one last shave. And guys, this is going to change your game. Like, it's going to change your game. 
but it is going to change your game like all the strawberry skins that will be gone and your skin is really going to be soft your skin is going to be coming through it's going to be glowy and it's going to be so much more because now it has liberated all those hidden hairs you wouldn't have touched and liberated dead skin cells and your shaving process is just going to get rid of all those unwanted nonsense instead of it settling down to your pores So guys, the second strategy to getting rid of chicken skin is exfoliation. And I'll be talking about mechanical exfoliation. I love to use um, the African black sponge for bathing as opposed to any other sponge. I don't like loofahs. I don't like um, any other soft sponge because I feel they don't get the work done. Get you some African black sponge because it's going to like get into all those areas it's going to wash cleanse and thoroughly exfoliate so you're exfoliating on the go that's the battle soap i use dodo soon soap it dodo soon is also black, black soap helps to extract oils from the pores so it's another plus but you don't have to use that but it's something i use i love it so much and it's one of my skincare secrets and with the african sponge like the skin is just going to be coming through in another sponge i love to use is this hand glove kind of sponge is more there is more coarse than the african sponge this one like exfoliate your skin like <laughs> like it exfoliates deeply you can feel how soft your skin is and you can see the dead skin cells like literally going I just use it with my African black soap and I'm good to go so you could get as many of them you could use only this one but I have it as I just interchange them depending on how I feel the second third method of exfoliating I love to use once in a while which was the scrub I was using for the shaving is the sugar scrub so i'm putting brown sugar it's basically putting brown sugar you're going to be adding some honey i'm out of honey here so i'm just using this organic honey that still has the bees in it and everything but i don't like that use normal honey i'm going to add some honey and i'll be adding some oils of my choice you could go with coconut oil you could go with jojoba oil grapeseed oil any oil you feel like that is very skin loving and you love it so i'm going to mix them thoroughly off camera and i'm going to have this beach sand texture in my hand that's what i'm showing you this you can just easily use so that was what i was using to scrub my skin during the shaving process and i use this on its own without shaving like when i'm in the shower I can just use it to scrub my entire body plus my legs and but apart from my face and this is one of my favorites so really having really really good skin so exfoliation is key exfoliation is going to remove those dead skin cells and lighten everything and just get dig up the pores and all those chicken skin so exfoliation was something i did every single day every single day but when it was gone i reduced it to like three or four times a week so my third strategy is using apple cider vinegar i'll be placing the apple cider bags apple cider vinegar in my spray bottle and i'll be extracting the juice out of some watermelon and i'll just add it together in the spray bottle to make the apple cider watermelon mixture so what this does is that it acts on the um, chicken skin all those deposition in the skin the oils the bacteria, and the dead skin cells apple cider co vinegar contains malic acid as well as watermelon and they are just going to help to dissolve to get into the pores and really dissolve those ground presence there those dead skin cells so that the next morning when you do your mechanical exfoliation it can lift them up and really get rid of them like this is the plug this is the plug guys i'm just so when i'm done having my baths right in the bedroom i just spray it. for my fourth strategy is moisturize moisturizing helps to really get rid of chicken skin or strawberry skin you want to use moisturizers and make sure the first ingredient is water after moisturizing, I love to seal everything with Vaseline, yes, petroleum jelly, 
it's really thick enough and it's going to make sure your skin stays moisturized for the longest time there's nothing that equals vaseline in this so i usually apply it and seal everything and my skin used to be glowy and shiny like this i do this routine only at night time well, i hope you learned something if you did let me know by hitting this like button is just below this video it helps me know the kind of videos you like and i'm going to put more of those content out and if you haven't subscribed below it's free just subscribe below if you and also follow me on instagram if you like to ask questions and you're feeling too shy or you just want to talk to me personally head on to my instagram and dm me there i'm always online and i'll answer to all of your questions <laughs>